Okay. Now, what's your name, sir? Uh, Jim Baldrige. And Jim, what are you doing down here at City Hall? I, I and others are here to testify um, against the idea that Veolia or any other um, private consulting or contracting company should um, oversee or uh, give advice to the city on our public water supply. And the, and the reason for that is that companies like Viola have a long, they have an international reputation, but also a, uh, a widespread reputation in this country of taking advantage of consulting opportunities to take over the private water supply and, and run it into the ground, so to speak. And a place like uh, Indianapolis had a 20-year contract. They got out of the contract after 10 years uh, and had to pay Veolia $29 million to to get out of the contract. That, that shouldn't be acceptable to the Baltimore taxpayers. And so I'm here on, on behalf of uh, retirees and the president of the Maryland D.C. Alliance for Retired Americans. Uh, that shouldn't be acceptable to uh, private citizens, including retirees, um, when when our uh, 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 vital public assets and our uh, tax dollars are at stake. Well, Jim, it sounds like the word that they use is privatization. They take a public asset, this, in this case it would be the municipal water system, and term, turn it over to some corporation. Is that what we're talking about here? That's, that's, that's the problem. Now, Veolia and, and companies have, have become sensitive to the word privatization, so now they're using the term public-private partnerships. And um, th this is a, uh, a practice that's, that's already in place in, in many, places, many places, including Maryland and including Baltimore City, public-private partnerships. But what it, what it does is uh, minimize the opportunity for citizens to have an input or even to see what is going on in their name with their tax dollars. So they're going to have a hearing inside today, uh, Jim, City That's Hall. Right. That's right. And City you, are you going to be testifying? I, I am. <laughs> Anything else, Jim? Well, I said I'm the president of the Maryland D.C. Alliance for Retired Americans, a national organization of about 4.3 million people. We have about 83,000 members in Maryland, and my, my largest constituent organization is the Retirees Chapter of the American Federation of State County Muslim Employees, and, and they are directly affected as workers, but also as retirees and their families. Many of them are still working. They are affected directly by the threat of uh, what is being discussed here. Thanks so much, Jim, and good luck tonight. Thanks.